Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. All right, Debbie. So Debbie wrote us a question. Hi, I just finished watching both parts of the payable and vendors video and learned how to pay one bill. I would like to know if I could pay more than one vendor at the same time. And if I can, will the system assign check numbers automatically one after another? Also, my company is currently handwriting checks. The checkbook is kind of old. It has three checks on each page with check stubs on the left-hand side. Do we need to order special check stocks in order to have them printed by QuickBooks? All right, well, that's your question. And let me go ahead to QuickBooks and show you the answer. All right, here we are. In QuickBooks, I went under Enter Bills. And what we're going to do first is uh, just enter a few bills for examples. So Vendor 1, I'm going to do a Vendor 2, and I'm going to do a Vendor 3. Right? So three vendors, three separate bills. I'm going to save and close this. And now I am in pay bills. So as we can see, the vendor one, two, and three, the three bills we entered. I'm going to select all three of them. And basically what I'm going to do here below, it's going to say method check to be printed because we want them to print those, right? It's going to come out of the checking account. And there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Pay Selected Bills. And now that I am at this Payment Summary screen, I'm going to hit Print Checks. And when I hit Print Checks, it's going to ask me for my first check number. So let's say first check number is 951. Okay. So this is where it is going to automatically make it 951, 952, 953. So that answers the first part of your question. I'm going to hit OK. Here's the second part of your question, which is regarding the pay stub. As you can see over here, there's an option that says Wallet. Wallet has the three checks on one page with the stubs on the left-hand side. I believe that's what you have. And there you go. So you can go ahead and use that. That should work. If not, you have three types that you can use over here. And once again, I'm pretty sure you have the wallet. So that should take care of part number two. And that should take care of your whole question altogether. Uh, if you have any further questions, please let me know. And for the rest. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.